Hey, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly spirit reading going into the last week of August and it keeps coming up the same message of late. Um, I kept on getting embrace the pace, embrace the pace. So you could feel like after all the hustle bustle and trying to accomplish a million things at once that there's a different pace. So embrace the pace. We kept on getting the hermit card. We kept on getting as much as you're trying to accomplish in the physical, you probably will need more downtime to be on your own side with that. So the last week of August, also you could be mulling around everything that's happened, what you want to um, prep for the new year. I was talking in the last video about how September very often feels like the actual beginning of a new year. So very often the last two weeks of August, you can find yourself kind of going into like that hermit mode of assessing everything that's happened, um, rebooting, recharging, gathering all your resources again for like the next wave of September on being a new year. So I was getting embrace the pace and I love that it rhymes. <laughs> it brings me back to when I was a kid. That's how I used to get all my spirit messages. They used to rhyme. It, I um, People used to tease me. It was like spiritual Dr. Seuss, right? So embrace the pace. So I just keep reminding myself, embrace the pace. So whatever pace it feels like it's going and go with it, right? Like go with the current. Okay, so we're going to tap into the Archangel messages for the last week of August. We're going to tap into the energy we're dealing with, the Goddess Guidance, what to surrender to make it easier. I think I just touched on that, embrace the pace. Um, we're going to end it with messages from heaven and also a guardian angel messages. So this is going to be short and sweet and to the point. I almost feel like um, the last reading I did really uh, embodied a lot. And um, yeah, and then the next readings I'll do will be the monthly Septembers, but I'll wait a little bit to do those. So this will be it. So embrace the pace. I was mentioning in the other video as, you know, with this channel, it, um, during the pandemic and everything, I had so much more time to devote to this channel it's kind of what made it um made it what it is but as everything came back i i find i'm not going to be able to post as much as frequently i'm still posting weeklies and monthlies and close-up reviews and spirit tips and everything else but you'll find that there'll be periods i explained to the other one periods where i can post more and some periods i can't but um yeah i'll try and keep up as best as i can so let's see what are the Archangel messages for the last week of August for all of us. Embrace the pace. Let's see what are the last messages of August going into September. We have nine of Michael, no need to worry. So your angels are letting you know there's no need to worry at all. Um, there's a lot of positive relationships here. So there's something coming in here about they want to bring home here the nine of michael and the two of raphael so your angels here are saying your worries unnecessary so anything that you're worried about the last reading i did said stay uh focused on the highest octaves of love um to let go of all your burdens so they're starting off with this card now so they're saying your worries are necessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. And here are the two of Raphael. I almost feel like these are your divine partners. I know that's an odd thing to say, but you can release all your worries and anxieties and give them to the angels. And I feel like they're your connection here. That's your loving relationship that's helping you to release all your worries. You're also going to be connecting in the physical with people that can support you with what you're doing that's going to help ease your any kind of worries that you have so this is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love so there are encouraging us all to have really supportive relationships at this time but i feel like your angels are saying in this reading there's nothing for you to worry about your worries unnecessary that you are dedicated with them almost, right? And creating wonderful things here um, to not give up. So that's their message for you. But then also that we are gonna be supported with people in the physical, whether it's through your work, your friends, your family, um, that are also helping you to create wonderful things. So going forward, there's nothing to worry about or give and you know, release your burdens now is the message. Yeah, four of Michael, two of Gabriel. Yeah, so what they're saying here is two of Gabriel is all about moving forward right for progress which we got if you didn't see the special spirit pick me up reading this is the cards again it's repeating confirmation this is your progress remember when they said you're the shining star keep moving forward the angels are supporting you here they're saying make bold ambitious choices 
great progress is possible, important relationships with people who share your vision. These are the important relationships. So you do not have to worry. You're going to be linked up. Not only are you linked up with them, your angels, but people in the physical who share your vision. As you're making your progress, continue to make bold decisions moving forward. You're making good progress. Like they said before, if you didn't see that special spirit pick me up, it was all about the progress. And here again, they're saying it's that quiet time, that rejuve time, especially in last bit of August, where if you get more downtime, rejuve time and everything else, it's actually going to help you with the progress in the sense, because you're probably going to get a lot of insight. Um, here it says insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep time off, seek relief from stress, exactly what they were saying from beginning to end. Lay down your burdens, the stress, the worry, everything else. This is a time to rejuve yourself, to go within for the insight. They're supporting your progress. And they're saying they're supporting, they're your relationship supporting that, your progress. But also you're going to be linked up with people who share your vision that will help you create things in the physical. It is a time for great progress, but at the same time, it's the insights that come from the quiet. Again, it reminds me of that hermit card where you may really do honor yourself and your energy. If you feel you need more time off, seek relief from stress, that hermit card going into your sanctuary a little bit. You're going to get a lot of insight in the quiet and a lot of love support. Uh, this also helps you relieve your worries and everything else and and leave that all behind as you're stepping forward like they said September is going to feel like a January as you're moving forward to make progress feel your angels beside you as you're walking uh, for progress and see how they're not alone that's like your relationships that are going to be coming in the physical to help you as well so yeah this is real support for progress and also the downtime uh, releasing your worries, rejuvenating, recouping your energies. Um, yeah, so this is the journey. So the energy we're dealing with is the journey, the illuminated journey. And see how she is doing it and she is lighting. Your path is being lit as you're going and keep your balance. And look, it almost reminds me of that hermit card, right? So what they were saying before, two always makes me feel of divine partners. So they're really trying to bring this home that as you're making your journey, right? As you're going forward, they want, it reads like a sentence, uh, release your worries as you're going on this journey now and go inside for the answers and stay illuminated because they're helping you as you make your journey with the steps for progress and see the angels back here walking with you as you're making your progress bold decisions going forward your ambitions your your what you see for the future and taking those steps for your future great progress is possible right and they're going to be linking you up to those relationships that are going to help you uh, make this progress so they're illuminating your journey in a sense i want to say and this with the lantern reminds me of the hermit where they're having you really be um Kind of going within to feel that insight that's coming in the quiet that you're making your way that they're illuminating your steps for progress and you can release your worries all along the way you can release your baggage she's not traveling with heavy baggage <laughs> just want to say um so they're encouraging you for progress and they're supporting you that's part of your divine relationship with them that's two two see that why they're real two 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 you see how they're bringing that home you have divine partners for progress and I think that's what they're trying to bring forth. And so if you need to garner your energy, recoup, go inside for the answer, stay connected to them. Um, they're, that's what they're supporting here as you're making progress and release your burdens, any worries. And uh, they're illuminating the path for you. So this is definitely divine partners for your progress. And uh, that is the energy. So you're going to be feeling that. But I do feel that they kept on saying for the last couple of weeks of August what I was saying in the beginning embrace the pace like if you feel you need more downtime you're tuning in it's all part of the journey and it's all part of staying connected and being illuminated as you go on the journey and they're right because they want you to stay connected to them as you're making moves and the steps for the progress and to feel supported for the progress release your burdens along the way so let's get the goddess guidance as the end of august going into september just like what they were saying they're supporting your progress the journey your divine partners bringing in people who can support you, but also you're linked with them, the two of Raphael as well, and stay connected with them. And if you feel you need more downtime, need to uh, kind of release any kind of feelings that you've been carrying, you can release it all, seek relief that way. <laughs> Here we go. It landed right on the progress, golden opportunities. Look at what they are bringing for you. 
they are saying important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. That's your angels. Walk through them. They're the ones that are guiding you onwards, right? Walk through them. So those, when they say divine partners for your progress, that is what they're talking about. So feel illuminated. They're showing you the steps right now to walk through these golden opportunities, things coming together. Um, but basically important doors are opening for you right now and walk through them. They're going to be your love support backing for the steps, for the progress you're making, the doors that are opening. Um, yeah, and you're going to be feeling that because they're having you in that almost harmony mode of going inside from the inside. Let's get what to surrender to make it easier. I bet that Nine of Michael was the first card. That your worries are necessary. You have divine partners supporting your progress. There are doors that are going to be opening for you right now. They want you to walk through them. Your insight's going to come from the quiet, right? Seek really from stress at all times. It's landing right on two of Raphael. Yes, yeah, surrender to the magic of who you are. Talk about love support backing. Talk about what they were saying is unusual to read with this 222. Um, and to the journey, what they're bringing home. And I have waves and chills of what I'm saying because it started with release your worries and connect with them in the quiet, right? They want you to surrender to the magic of who you are. That is letting go of everything else. Do you see that? And being illuminated, that is the light that, that's pouring down on you to surrender to the magic of who you are as you're taking steps in your journey for progress because they are supporting these doors and they're supporting you walking through them. So I have chills. So they are literally saying we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. So remember, remember the remember you deck and the messages all about that, that they kept bringing home. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. And that is the energy that they're going to be feeding you all day long, which is probably why they are having you release your burdens at the end of August. This is all about releasing your burdens and what was cluttering you and going back and see the light shining on her. So you're kind of brought home back to this energy um, that is going to be supporting you as you make steps for progress, supporting you on your journey and illuminating the steps for you, that you feel linked with them as divine partners. And also, as you take the steps, you'll be met with divine partners in the physical that will help you with your progresses as well. Um, so yeah, surrender back to the magic of who you are. They're saying we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life, right? So in the steps, in the big and the small with what you're doing in the work and the personal, um, they are bringing you back to that to remember that you're a magical being with a uniqueness and a worth that come from just being you. And if you didn't see this special spirit pick me up reading, that is literally what they were gave you a star, um, you know, to make bring you back to that in your life. And to, they're helping you through for progress and going through these doors that are and to walk through them. Um, so yeah, beautiful support for your progress and for the steps on your journey. And to feel that they're bringing you back to that in your heart. It's a real connectiveness, and I feel it's this card at the end of August that brings us back to that. So it could be not just this re this reading, what you're guided to, what you get in the, when you're in your downtime. They're bringing you back to this, the magic of all you are, and make you feel more supported as you take your steps for progress here. This is divine progress, <laughs> divine uh, support divine partners and divine support for your progress, right? And so they are really illuminating the steps on your journey. Two, 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 divine partners for your progress. So let's see what are messages from heaven. Divine partners for your progress. And I love surrender to the magic of who you are. Remember that you are a magical being with uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. And there's your love support backing to go through, walk through those doors that are opening for you right now. They're illuminating the steps on your journey. Literally, they're staying dedicated to creating wonderful things. You can release your burdens. And there's going to be a lot of insight coming to you in the quiet. And if you need to seek relief from stress or sleep more or rest more, it's all supporting your progress. So let's get the messages from heaven. And they're feeding you that energy. I love that energy. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Your uniqueness and worth coming from just being you. <laughs> yes, and that's what they wanted. Yeah, of course, we will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. And that is what they're doing. Here's the progress. Here are the doors. Here is the journey that they are lighting the way. Literally, do you see that? We will light the path to new possibilities for your future, stay aware. So they're very much bringing you back 
to you and to remember all you're made of and remember your connection to them and they're illuminating the steps on the path of your journey this is all for progress and actually then walking through those doors of opportunity so they are quite literally lining the path to new possibilities for your future stay aware and that is and here's golden opportunities i mean important doors are opening for you walk through them so those are your divine partners that are literally lighting the way to new possibilities for you for that new progress that are supporting your journey and illuminating the steps right and so walk through them they're also supporting you on the inside so when you go in for rest connecting with them garnering insight they're surrendering you back to the magic of who you are it's really beautiful. So you walk this way, making progress, and there's your love support backing it, and you know that they're supporting you. They're literally lighting the path to new possibilities, so stay aware. And then you'll be walking through these golden opportunities that are opening for you. Really, really beautiful. There's so many twos, like your divine partners for progress, divine partners for new possibilities in your future, golden opportunities, doors opening. Um, you can surrender everything that got you here. These two cards of like the burdens, the fears, the worries, all that. So we have two. Yes, positive change in action. Wow, wow, wow. Dare to be different. This is what they're feeding you, right? Because they're like surrender to the magic of all you are. So this is all for positive change. Look at these golden opportunities. Look at this progress. Look that they're lighting the way to possibilities for your future. They're keeping you so connected to them. See, you know, like illuminating your path and understanding this is all for positive change they're telling you dare to be different and when you are criticized remember that you will never please everyone and many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change so you are part of positive change and they're going to be feeding you that energy all day long because you're probably not getting that in the physical so they're supporting you that's why two 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 your divine partners for positive change for these opportunities dare to be different to be nobody but your magical self unique your worth that comes from just being you they're telling you to be different and just that's it i mean you're sowing the seeds of positive change and here's the action that's what you're doing so drop all fear and just do it you have the power to create and be whatever you truly want so look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals this is they're supporting your action and your steps for progress right they're supporting your journey illuminating it to take those action steps they're illuminating this um so they're literally saying nothing can stop you and nothing can stop you except your own fears. That's why they said release the fears. <laughs> nothing can stop. It's like a power. It's like a sentence. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels. Right? How many times were there divine partners here? This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. They're supporting your progress, your steps, your journey. It is time to take those steps. It's positive confirmation, golden opportunities, golden, golden. Um, doors are opening for you. They're lining the path to new possibilities. Those are your divine partners. So they're like surrender back to the magic of what makes you you, unique. You're part of you what you're doing is part of positive change. So they're saying, yeah, I don't expect, you don't need to be fully appreciated or understood. You're sowing seeds here. You're making the steps for progress, surrender your fears and doubts um, and take those positive steps. So they're actually supporting your progress, your steps. They are your divine partners for these opportunities. Exactly, new possibilities and golden opportunities for you. So yeah, they're supporting you going forward for this progress. If you feel that you need to seek more relief from stress feel more connected with them because two 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 is all about divine partners and everything else and they're leading the path to new possibilities for your future it's going to have positive changes for you they're guiding you on the action on the steps they're illuminating the steps on your journey for this progress do you see that and your connection with them is in the quiet release everything else they are lighting the way and they're also lighting you from within to surrender back to the magic of all that makes you you right I love that part. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you and they're supporting your steps and for progress and new opportunities. So when you feel guided, 
drop those fears, just do it because they're saying you have the power to create all that you really want now. It's positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new exciting venture. Here's golden opportunities and the path to new possibilities, the progress and the steps, the journey. And they're with you and they're illuminating the steps in the path for you. But definitely feel their love and support as you're going forward for progress, for new opportunities. Um, stay aware because they're aligning the way for you. And uh, this is all to support that action and positive change. So I wish you the best for the end of August going into September. Take care. Bye-bye.